Live from inside Penn State Children's Hospital, welcome to Ask Us Anything About Thon and Four Diamonds. I'm Scott Gilbert. This Friday, on the campus of Penn State University, hundreds of Penn State students will get on their feet and they will dance nonstop. They'll be on their feet for 46 hours as they dance for a cure to cancer. It's known as the Penn State IFC Panhellenic Dance Marathon, THON for short. And here to talk with us about how the proceeds from THON are put to good use right here at Penn State Children's Hospital. I have Suzanne Graney, Executive Director of Four Diamonds. Thank you for being here. My pleasure. And Dr. Craig Hillemeyer is CEO of Penn State Health. He's Dean of Penn State College of Medicine and uh, Senior VP for Health Affairs at Penn State. Thanks for being here, Dr. Hillemeyer. Here, Scott. Thanks. All right. Let's start by talking about the event itself. I know both of you have been many times. Tell me about the excitement, the energy in the room up there at the Bryce Jordan Center. What is it like? How can you explain it to someone who hasn't been there? You know, somebody recently described it like the Grand Canyon. Um, if you see a picture or you hear about the Grand Canyon, you get an idea of what it's like. But until you're really there, you don't fully get it. I think probably the best description is it's the largest display of human kindness I've ever gotten to witness in one place. There is a spirit of kindness and hope and love that just envelops everybody in the Bryce Jordan Center for the entire weekend. Yeah, I think I think it, it's the energy that one feels when you when you participate in that and you look and you're part of the crowd. You just realize how much energy is out there. It's the, the, one of the most win-win things that we see. We always look at, at things which make the people who participate in it feel better and, and better, and, and this does that. And it also very much benefits the children who have cancer and the research that we're doing to try to conquer pediatric cancer. So it's really one of the most fantastic things that I've had an opportunity to be associated with. You know, let's talk about the fact that the sole beneficiary of THON is Four Diamonds. So, again, that money is put to good use here on this campus. And we hear the term Four Diamonds family a lot. Suzanne, what does that mean? What are the criteria that people need to meet to, uh, to become a Four Diamonds family here? The criteria is simple, although it's not criteria that anybody wants to have to meet. It's that you're a resident of Pennsylvania, that your child has been diagnosed with cancer under the age of 22 at time of diagnosis, and that you're being treated here at Penn State, Penn State Children's Hospital. And there are a lot of services here at the Children's Hospital that benefit from fun in addition to that direct patient care, but then all go back to helping the families, right, Dr. Hillman? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I think you can add up 24 different types of specialists we have that work with our children and families that have counselor from social workers to physical therapy to occupational therapy to play therapy to music therapists I mean that's one of the one of the biggest things that they see is when the guitar comes in the room you can see the smiles come out and it really is that that lets us provide an exceptional experience for those children and their families who are struggling to conquer cancer you're watching Ask Us Anything About Thon and Four Diamonds, live from Penn State Children's Hospital. I'm Scott Gilbert, along with Suzanne Grinney and Dr. Craig Hillemeyer. We welcome your questions in the comment field below this post. We can pose them to these two folks live, or even if you're watching this on playback, feel free to pose your questions, and we'll make sure we get you some answers as well. Feel free to just post your exciting comments, too, your reflections of Thon, if you've been up to Thon before, uh, things to share with our audience. I'd like to talk a little bit about research and how research is funded through THON, and that is the only way to a cure, so it's so important. It's really important. We talk about the equation for hope, which is the combination of world-class clinical care, care for our children, transformative philanthropy, which is exactly what THON is, needs to be combined with life-saving research in order to have hope for a cure. That combination of all three are vital, so there has to be a focus on research. That's where we will find new ways to treat cancer, new discoveries of how to use drugs differently and how to boost the survival rate so that we can save every child. Yeah, I think if you look at uh, children with cancer, we now do a lot better than we did three or four decades ago. I think almost four out of five children that have a diagnosis of cancer now survive the cancer. But of course that means that one out of five do not. It also means of the four of five that we treat with cancer, we need to come up with ways that treat that cancer that have less morbidity associated with them, less long-term side effects associated with the type of treatment we have. That's why something like THON, which is really for the kids and focused on conquering pediatric cancer, just gives us so much hope and energy around here as we do our business. 
Fantastic. And Dr. Helmeyer, you touched on that concept of morbidity, some of those long-term side effects that the existing treatments for cancer can have on children. And Suzanne, that's part of the reason for the survivorship clinic we have right here in this building, right? That's exactly right. Sadly, we know that two-thirds of the children that survive this have a likelihood of developing some type of complication that came because of their treatment. Those types of long-term complications need to be watched um, long after the patient is done with their standard cancer treatment. So the survivorship clinic is making available an appointment for all of our children who are leaving their oncology care to have follow-up scans once per year to make sure that they're keeping an eye on any of the complications that might arise from their treatment. They're also, as they transition out of being children and into being adults, they're given an individualized medical plan as they transition out of oncology and into a primary care um, physician and um, their own responsibility for their care as they become 18 or, or um, older, for them to know what actually happened, what were the risks that were associated with the type of treatment they had. They might have been too young to know what, what the exact course of care was. So that individualized plan gives them an opportunity to be proactive adults in watching their own health care and keeping their eyes open for those complications. You're watching Ask Us Anything About Fun and Four Diamonds from the campus of Penn State Children's Hospital. I'm Scott Gilbert along with Suzanne Graney and Dr. Craig Hillemeyer. We welcome your comments and your questions below this post. And we also encourage you to share this post if you find um, th this to be an exciting topic. And really, who doesn't? Fun is just an ex such an exciting 46-hour period of time. And it really marks the culmination of a year of effort up there at University Park, doesn't it? It does. And this year in particular is really special. This is the 40th anniversary of the partnership between Thon and Four Diamonds. Both organizations existed for five years before we became partners, so it's not our 40th birthday or anniversary for either organization, but it's the anniversary of the 40th year that we have been dedicated partners working together, finding ways to conquer childhood cancer, and supporting all of the families who are being cared for here in our children's hospital. And we're marking that anniversary in some interesting ways is including 40 faces on the Four Diamonds website, right? Yeah, there's a great uh, campaign that's online. You can find it on Thon's social media channels and Four Diamonds. You can also find it at fourdiamonds.org. And you can see some of the people that were instrumental in putting this partnership together between Thon and Four Diamonds and those that helped to keep it strong over the course of 40 years. And Dr. Hellmeyer, what is it like for you to look back on, I mean, 40 years of a partnership here? Because before you were in your current position, you oversaw the Children's Hospital here. So you know this subject matter very well. Yeah, it's, it's been really exciting to see this evolve over time. And to see the students every year pick up the mantle from the previous year and to have the energy and the enthusiasm to make it a successful year. You know, we always say it's, it's really about the relationships that are formed and, and it really is the relationships between the Four Diamonds families and those students who are really f spending all year trying to figure out how to support those families that actually culminates in THON that I think really makes it what it is today. That's really a pretty exciting thing. And we, the, uh, the students from THON, those who take part, are a presence right here in the Children's Hospital throughout the year. We see them wearing their t-shirts and interacting with patients. It's not just up at that event, although there is plenty of it up there, but Absolutely. they're out here throughout the year too. Yeah, we love that we have the opportunity to bring the students actually to our hospital to let them see what is the impact of all of the work that they've been doing. They get an opportunity throughout the course of the year. We host scheduled tours um, for these students and they are from students at University Park, but also from all the Commonwealth campuses have an opportunity to sign up to come on a tour and we're able to introduce them to a family and let them hear a personal story um, about how they're being helped because of Four Diamonds and Thon. They get an opportunity to go into one of the research labs and hear from the scientists about what a difference it is that they're making and how that funding helps to sustain what they're doing um, in how they're looking for um, new ways to treat childhood cancer. It gives all of those um, young, vibrant um, college students an opportunity to hands-on see what's happening here at the hospital and what they help to make happen. What, what a fantastic opportunity for them and for families and patients too, I'm sure. Oh, absolutely. And I think one of the things that people oftentimes don't really understand is it's not really just the 700 plus dancers who really 
put out to make Thon so special. There are literally many thousands of students, each of whom spend over hundreds of hours making this whole Thon successful. Looks like Fantastic. we have a question. We yeah. do indeed, and we invite you to add your questions to the comment field, as Madison has just done. Uh, Madison's asking, what are some of the things that you've been researching and developing recently? So many things happening here behind the scenes. Well, it's amazing. And, you know, the dollars that come through THON to Four Diamonds primarily make sure, first of all, that patients and families have all of their needs taken care of and that we provide them exceptional care. But those dollars over and above that go to provide for the research, which is going to conquer pediatric cancer. And many, much of that research actually focuses on those cells that cause the cancer that in some ways seem to act as if they're immortal. They don't have the normal type of senescence, the normal type of life cycle that eventually dies as normal cells do. And that's why then they take over and they oftentimes cause problems then as cancer. And so the, much of the research that we have going on tries to look at what we call the molecular mechanisms of why those cells continue to grow and grow and grow and eventually result in what we call cancer. And then how to figure out how to interrupt those mechanisms that allow those cells to go on. And it's really exciting, some of the work that we're doing in terms of the, the molecular mechanisms that make the DNA go on and replicate, that cause all of those intracellular signals that result in cell growth to not sort of go through their normal cycles, but to just perpetuate themselves. And I, we have some really exciting things happening in that area. It's exciting work, and it's work made possible by those who are dancing up at uh, State College this weekend. It's true. One of the other projects that is really simple to understand, because this is all really complicated science, um, Dr. Sonny Dovat is working specifically in high-risk leukemia, and he is looking at a particular gene. You know, all of us have genes that can turn on and off depending on how they're stimulated. But the gene that he's looking at is called Icarus, and it's believed that if we can figure out how to turn on and off Icarus, we could figure out how to turn on and off leukemia, which is just startling to think that we're that close to having identified the gene. Now it's figuring out how to manipulate it. But it gives hope to all of us that we're close to finding answers that scientists have been looking for for century or generations at least. Yeah, absolutely. It's very exciting. You're watching Ask Us Anything About Fawn and Four Diamonds from Penn State Children's Hospital. Thank you for the questions and the comments so far. Our next comment, or I should say question, comes from Joni. Joni's wondering if there have been any positive outlooks for the future in making childhood cancer safer, fewer long-term side effects. I think she's talking about that, that sure. morbidity issue and, and, the, and the fact that some of the treatments, um, I guess you could say that they cure cancer, but down the road, the patients live with those long-term effects. So as, as Suzanne pointed out, many of the patients who survive pediatric cancer end up having difficulties later on, and that's why it's important that we follow them. But the real answer to that problem is to try and figure out why they have those problems. And there's some really exciting understandings about individual susceptibility to the medications because not all of these medications are going to impact each individual the same way. So understanding the various molecular mechanisms and enzymes that individuals have to deal with the particular mechanisms directly impacts the toxicity or side effects they're going to have. So if we're able to use the terms uh, precision medicine or personalized medicine to understand how the individual is going to respond to that therapy, we can then better prepare a therapy which will minimize the side effects and still maximize the effect against the cancer. And so that's probably one of the, the biggest things that's come about in the last five or 10 years is understanding that not all of the medicines that we use will have the same side effects on everyone and trying to individualize that therapy. We're also getting a lot better in terms of monitoring the side effects during the actual therapy that might then go on to produce long-term toxicity or side effects. So it's a really good question, and I think there's a lot of really good work so that we have less, we use the term morbidity, less morbidity associated with these medicines in the long term. 
We've mentioned a couple websites. I want to throw a couple things out there because as the energy ramps up heading into this weekend, you have some more opportunities to learn even more about Thon and Four Diamonds and that connection that's been in place for 40 years, including a television program this Friday. It's called Good Day PA. You can catch it at 12.30 p.m. in the Harrisburg area on ABC 27. That's WHTM-TV. That is at 12.30 on Friday on Good Day PA. We also encourage you to check out thon.org slash webcast. If you're not able to make it up to State College, or even if you're only up there for part of the weekend and want to see more, including the big uh, reveal at, the, at 4 p.m. on Sunday, that's a great way to check it out online. It's always, and, and that's a student-run production as well, too. It is. There's a group called 46 Live. They are all communications students uh, from the College of Communications that keep that live stream going, and they produce all of the content that's on there. It's a huge undertaking, but we know that there were more than 100,000 people that logged in to wow. watch live at some point during Thon Weekend last year. We're certain that it will be just as compelling and we hope as many people log on. We also, I wouldn't be doing my job very well if I didn't encourage people to also use Thon.org to make a donation and be part of that big reveal that happens at the end and help uh, Thon be successful. And when you're helping Thon be successful, you're helping Four Diamonds in our children's hospital be more successful in how we're able to treat children and continue to look for a cure. Fantastic. Suzanne Grinney, Dr. Craig Hillmeyer, thanks so much for being part of this interview Thank today. Thank you. Oh, right. my pleasure. Thank you for watching, and we appreciate the questions, which, as we mentioned before, if you're watching this interview on playback, feel free to add your questions or your comments below. It's not too late. We can even get some answers to those questions, if you'd like, uh, after the fact and as time goes on, because we know a lot of people check these videos out afterwards. So thank you so much for watching. Thanks again to my guests, and uh, we appreciate you watching. Ask us anything about Thon and Four Diamonds from Penn State Children's Hospital.